it's me and welcome back I'm here in Davao so after 20 days on the road traveling your beautiful country uh, and he's operating the camera so I can talk you through what I did when I traveled so for me to go around your beautiful country I had a Honda Click uh, very good bike uh, had some issues in the mountains uh, because it kept bottoming out uh, and I had to get the tire pressure sorted out on a regular basis uh, but I also had to turn around and change the oil three times and I had to change the gear oil uh, twice which I didn't expect but it got me from A to B which is very very good so I did 4,300 miles and we're going to cover that in my next video but what did I turn around and take with me to do my vlog? Well, I took a selfie stick, which is this one, um, which I bought in Davao. It's a fairly basic selfie stick. Put the camera in, hold it, do the, do the shots. The next thing I took, I took this pocket gimbal, uh, which is uh, it's very nice. It's by FI. It opens up um, and I can ride on the bike and it stabilizes my bike so I used this when I was in uh, Manila and going through Angeles um, great little product really does work uh, does everything it says it's going to do on the on the book uh, I enjoyed using this um, and then the third thing I took was a Nokia 6.1 um, very good camera good lens uh, it gave me the results that you see in the vlog Sometimes with the sunlight there will be some fading between dark and light shots which I found a bit disturbing sometimes. Uh, what I didn't take, I didn't take a GoPro, I didn't take uh, a high-end vlogging camera, I didn't take uh, high-end high accessories uh, like a, a monkey grip or a, a big uh, a vlogging gimbal. All I, all I took is what you've just seen. Uh, plus my clothes, plus uh, my crash helmet, my shoes, my jeans, and I traveled. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Um, I downloaded through uh, Formira using my phone, uh, and I would download every day to release the uh, memory in my camera on the phone. So guys, I'm back in Davao, and the next video you will see will be of the towns and cities and regions that I have traveled through over the last 21 days. Thank you guys, like, share and subscribe. Hi guys, welcome to the beach. Today we're chilling out and we're doing a little recap on what I did for 20 days. So the regions that I've traveled through over the last 20 days in this glorious country are uh, Re Davao, Region 11. I need to read this because I cannot remember it all, guys. Uh, Caraga, Region 13. Central Visayas, Region 7. Eastern Visayas, Region 8. Bicol, Region 5. Carabazon, 4A Region. NCR Manila. Central Luzon, Region 3. ARMM region, Iliocos del Sur region 1, I have Visaya region 6 which is the western Visaya, northern Mindanao region 10 and Zamboanga Peninsula region 9. So 13, 13 regions I have traveled through over the last 20 days uh, out of 16 in this glorious glorious country. Uh, I apologize for my glasses, but I need to uh, use them to read because I'm getting old. So now the cities. So the route I took was up one side of the, of, uh, the Philippines and down the other side of the Philippines. The only mistake I had was when I come to Batanes and they put me on the wrong ferry. And I went, went to a ferry to... Uh, Bahol, rather than going to uh, Kalapan or Kalpan. So I went to Davao, Tagum, Nabaturan, 
Beogan. Batuan, Surigo del Morte. San Ricardo, Bay Bay. Tacloban, Catalogan. San Isidora, Matog, Sor So Gon. Legaspi, Tobacco, Naga, Diet. Tamares Norte, Tezon, Manila. Antipolo, Angeli City, Tarlac, Baggio, Benjit, Bontoc, Vegan. That was my no. Antoinette is laughing. Antoinette is laughing because of my pronunciation. I'm very sorry. There we go. So that was my route north. My route south was Vegan to San Fernando, Candon, San Carlos. Bantanes, uh, Munti Lupa, Catilan Port, Calibo, Rojas, Capiz, Ilo Ilo, Bacolod, Guglian Gan, I really apologize, Bias, Tanje Dumugeti. I did Dipitan, Dipalog, Pagadian, Cotabato. To all the people in Cotabato and the region of the uh, the earthquake, my blessings, my condolences, and my thoughts are with you. Tidapuan, Digos, and Davao. So I got home the, not last night, the night before. Very, very, very tired. Very, very happy that I did the journey. Uh, Antoinette wouldn't let me in my in the apartment because she thought I was some sort of crazy man outside. She kept going, who's there, who's there, who's there, who's there? But that's Antoinette for you. And she's a lovely lady. Oh, oh look, there is Antoinette. Wow. Oh, <laughs> beautiful Antoinette. Okay, guys, we had a great trip. And I will do the next video in about 10 minutes time. Thank you. Hi, Gary, and it's Annie doing the video today. Okay, we're here at uh, a little resort, chilling out. So, the good points and the bad points about traveling around the Philippines for me. The good points first, the people, the hospitality, the vibrancy, the friendship, the beautiful, beautiful scenery, the lovely country. This is paradise for everybody uh, and we should look after it. Uh, I had a fantastic time and it's stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, if you look at my videos you will see the passion that I have for this country uh, and that's why I've come here to live my life and then die here. So the bits that I didn't like, the bits I didn't like were the lorries and the trucks and the buses and the pollution that they kept pumping out day out, day after day after day as I was traveling the countryside. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any emission controls on these on these vehicles. Uh, very, very difficult. Uh, some of the towns and the poverty I found very difficult to deal with and it hurt and it, I became very sad. Uh, and they're about the two things. Uh, there's a lot of rubbish and there's a lot of waste and there's a lot of uh, uh, depravity. But at the end of the day, it's what makes this country so nice. So, my next trip will be from Davao to another island and then to come back, which will be in about a month's time. So, join me and Annie and the click. And I will see you then. Take care. Good afternoon, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos, there are three, like, share and subscribe. Please have a look at the other videos that I posted on my 20 day journey. Um, Annie's having lunch in the background with her buko. She deleted the other video where she turned around and complained about ants biting her bottom because she said she looks like a wild woman.
Well, I don't think she looks like a wild woman. She looks like a wild Filipina. But anyway, not to worry. She's there. She's got some salad there. She's going to go for a swim in a minute, but she gets cramps. She's got pain in her stomach. Uh, but hopefully, she'll be okay. Okay, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you later.